Hey there, football fans. Welcome back to Football News Center, your go-to channel for all the latest updates in the world of football. Today, we have some exciting news about Newcastle United Saudi takeover. We've obtained exclusive government emails that shed light on the behind-the-scenes discussions between the Premier League, government departments, and the Saudi Investment Fund, PIF. Let's dive right in. The Premier League made a statement that they had received assurances that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia would not control Newcastle United. However, newly obtained emails reveal that there were discussions between government officials and the Premier League regarding the settlement of differences with the PIF to allow the investment in Newcastle to proceed. In the weeks leading up to the takeover announcement, there were two meetings between foreign office officials and the Premier League. On the day before the announcement, an email reveals that a Premier League official sent a message on WhatsApp to a foreign office employee, although the contents of the message were heavily redacted. It's also interesting to note that the Foreign Office had a communications plan ready for both the potential approval and rejection of the takeover. They even prepared a briefing note for Prime Minister Boris Johnson before his call with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, four days after the deal was announced. The emails also addressed the expected media scrutiny on the matter. Stock questions included inquiries about how the government allowed a country responsible for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi to take control of such an important cultural asset. The Foreign Office's suggested answers highlighted that the UK government has already sanctioned individuals involved in the Khashoggi murder and that the takeover represented an opportunity to showcase Saudi Arabia's progress in promoting female participation in sport. Now, let's talk about the extent of UK state interest in the takeover. The emails reveal that the British government welcomed the investment, seeing it as an opportunity for further investment in the Northeast and a chance to highlight Saudi reforms, such as increased female participation in sports. Regarding public relations, the government offered PR advice on the inward investment, suggesting that the takeover could promote a different image of Saudi Arabia in the UK. However, the government and the Premier League maintained that there was no direct involvement in the negotiations between the bidding consortium and the previous owner, Mike Ashley. In conclusion, these emails provide a fascinating insight into the discussions and interests surrounding the Newcastle United Saudi takeover. While the Premier League maintains that the club is not controlled by the Saudi state, the emails reveal the extent of UK state interest and involvement in the process. That's all for today's update. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And as always, keep supporting your favorite teams and enjoying the beautiful game of football. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Football News Center.